How you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Look at that. We got about 200 watts of light, including the light over top. Spotlights nailing the screen directly. There's no lampshades because, you know, it's funny. I'm going to say this really quick. When I see people doing demonstrations, not to put anybody down, but when you do a demonstration with a lampshade next to your screen, you have to understand the physics of light. So, when you put a lampshade on, it cuts down at least about 60 to maybe 80% of the light that's actually dispersing outward. So basically that light is redirected to go up or redirected to go down. When you move the shade, the light dis disperses everywhere. So when you do a demonstration, you're showing a lamp next to your screen and saying, hey look, this is an ambient light rejection screen. Pull the lampshade off and see what the reaction is going to be. Because right now, all you're doing is you're technically you're blocking light that's actually supposed to be hitting that screen. That's why when we do our demonstrations, we use spotlights. There's spotlights, there's no shade. There's just direct light channeled in the spotlight, and it's pushing it right to the screen. That's what we want. You know what I mean? We want direct light nailing the screen. Now, like I said, for some people, I have to put this out there. If you're going to repost our videos, and you're going to try to discredit our work, do the exact same demonstration or better before opening your mouth on that on this topic. All right, so let me move over here real quick. Let me just play this video in the back. Hey, you guys want to see what this looks like with uh, some of these lights out? We'll just turn a few off right here. Even with the one spotlight on, look at the screen. Looks fantastic. We'll hit it with again. Looks even more incredible. Even with the lights on, it looks incredible. Let's turn it off again, and boom. Now my the projector I'm using in the back is my NEC VT595 projector at 2000 lumens. As I said before, we test these screens on 48 lumen projectors because if these screens can pass a 48 lumen projector with a bar light taped in the middle of the screen and tons of light hitting that screen, then guess what it'll look like on a 2000 lumen projector. Look how incredible that looks. Alright, so let's get over here and get to this real quick. Turn my spotlights over here because Guys, they're still going to be there on the screen, makes no difference. We're going to be doing a paint on demonstration today. Now, let me show you how easy it is to use our screen paint, how you can apply it on everything. This right here is a tarp that I picked up. I think it's an acrylic tarp. Six by eight. Picked it up, <coughs> sorry, at Home Depot for about seven dollars. And this is just an Every day, people always ask us what kind of paint rollers. Pretty much any standard cheap paint roller will work on with our screen paint. And there's no robot formation. This is some of it I started right now. So we're going to grab some of the paint. Then we're going to start from the top over here. And there's no special way on how to apply it. We're just going to pour it down the screen right there. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Because, you know, you'll have some people on their demonstration saying, hey, it has to be done this way and it has to be done that way. Like, whatever. All right, and we're just going to paint this onto our surface like so. Show you how easy this is to do. Now, this is just going to be the paint on part. Later on, I'll take the screen out in the backyard and we'll throw water against it and everything because these screens are completely weatherproof. That's something you don't have to worry about. Screen is weatherproof. Takes no time at all to paint. There's no pros required. So you see how I'm painting this, right? And this is fantastic. Like if you want to do a screen, a really fast projection screen, you have the um, sports game coming on, or you want to do an outdoor uh, theater screen. This is perfect because you can just grab. This is mine. This is just an eight dollar. Uh, Oops, and if you make a mistake like that, that makes no difference. I've done demonstrations where I've walked across the screen. All right, so get those corners. I think I'm gonna go around and do the corners first. There we go. Very easy to do. Now, our commercial kits are, um, we have these commercial kits that we do, and uh, the commercial kits come in uh, from one gallon, to five gallons. Actually, I'm sorry, 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 my bad. They come in from one gallon, to ten gallons. I kind of forgot about that. So they're fantastic if you're going to be doing like really huge applications. As a matter of fact, we have a screen that's going out to Florida, and the guy who's doing that screen, his screen, he has a customized screen. His screen is in the range of uh, of um of six feet 
by um, six feet by uh, by 40 feet. That's a big freaking screen. So if you have like a customized screen you want designed for an event, um, we have a company that we work with and they will customize the screen to the size that you want. So we do customize screens just to let you know, you know. Look how easy that is. It just paints so easily. You don't, like I said, no pro required. No pros required. There we go. Done on that side. Alright. Just roll this along right here. Very easy to do. And like I said, no pros required. Just roll it on and you're done. Let's move this back a little farther. I think I'm on top of the fan. Yeah, I am on top of the fan. The fan is right next to my feet. Here we go. And let's go right back over top of it. Because I like to go back over again once. You don't only have to put down one coat. But I like to go back over it again. Just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. In mind, this is an $8 acrylic tarp. That I got over at Home Depot. Make sure I get all the little areas in there. These screens have sometimes have a little because they have creases in them sometimes because of the um because of the uh, they've been folded. But this is a um, this screen has a uh, grommets already installed into the screen, which is fantastic. Because then you can use bungee cords or whatever you want to do to hang it up on your garage door or whatever. And just to let you know that the paint is fully uh, weatherproof. That's something you don't have to worry about your screen cracking or peeling. You can actually just roll the screen up, put it in the corner when you're done with it. And that's basically about it. So as you see, I didn't have to do any priming. With the screen being brown, I didn't have to do any priming to the screen whatsoever. Like I said, these screens are are using the smart technology gain, and that allows the screen to be able to um, endure tons of light. But you'll see, I'll do several demonstrations outside with spotlights now in the screen, and you'll see exactly the advancements of this paint. All right, they're just going back over it. Make sure I hit every spot correctly. There we go. back over again my video has stopped playing just had something just playing in the background as I did all this work and not all this work but you know did the paint demonstration and there we go I think I turned that on Hold on for a minute there we go make sure that the video is playing all right so that's basically about it so like I said cheap tarp that I picked up from Home Depot painted it in no time at all um, doesn't make a difference that you paint it up or down you paint it side to side it really makes no difference I was able to turn this into a high performance projection screen in no time at all like I said you'll get a chance to see the paint on demonstration not paint on demonstration but the um, afterwards effect so this is going to be just part one of our paint on tarp screen and then I'll do a part two uh, where you'll get a chance to see what the screen reaction looks like so that's it we're done like I said one coat that's all you need and you're done that's it screen's done put my roller back over here and there's the screen right there itself so that's the color of the screen right here this is the dark silver and mind you like I said direct light with a spotlight I can nail my screen, hit on, and my screen looks amazing. Second spotlight right here. There you go. Two spotlights sitting in the screen. Look how amazing that screen looks. That's what you're getting from us. That's, that's the performance that we get. All right.
right, so I'm gonna come over here real quick. I'm gonna drop out of this video really fast. I'll pause this and I'll go into my YouTube channel. I'll go back into the YouTube channel and grab something else really cool. Let's see what we got. There's something we can just add on here really quick along with all this. Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, didn't want to see that happen, but it did. All right, let's go back up. Try to find something here we can add in here really quick. Um, let's just do this one really quick. All right, there we go. Well, like I said, very, very, very easy to do. No time at all, no time at all. And there is YouTube right there on my screen. Mind you, like I said, still being hit with the nail, with the direct spotlights right on the screen. Like I said, if you're gonna do a demonstration, you have to do it right. Being done, like I said, this is a dark scene. We're doing this with the spotlights. Now let's drop the spotlights. And we got the overhead light right there. I can't lean in and get that one because it's in the middle of the screen. I mean, it's not freaking incredible. Painted just like I said, no time at all. Come back over. I'm gonna throw my spotlight back on again. not freaking amazing all right now what I want to show you guys really quick uh, really, actually, something else I want to show you too um, we uh, we have a few updates to add in really quick I also too I'm going to show you that this is a five gallon container this is actually going out to a customer over in uh, <coughs> sorry about that in uh, Florida and this is how we're shipping the five gallon containers and 10 gallon containers. I like these tops, man. These tops are freaking amazing because that means when our, our customers, it's, if these are for commercial, if you want to use these for outdoor um, um, screens, for events and stuff like that. So these come in five gallon containers and then we have 10 gallons and then we're going to be having drums pretty soon. So uh, this right here, consider what you're saving. Uh, a gallon of this is around, a gallon of our, our Crystal Witch Technology screen paint is around $554. That's the price for the big 180. Uh, this kit right here is sold for about $2,500. About to almost close to $2,600. $2, so mind you, you're getting five gallons in here. So you're, you're saving a lot. Then on top of that, it comes with these really cool canister tops, which I love um, because instead of you pulling on the sides and trying to snap this back in over and over and over again to get any air up in here that's going to dry out your paint. It comes with a top that just screws right off, just like that. You can take it out, pour, pour it into your paint pan, roll it on, and you're done. And then when you get done with it, you have a little left over, and you want to save it. All you got to do is just take the top and screw it back on. Also, too, it has a locking mechanism on it, so basically you have to worry about any paint being, <laughs> sorry, being spilled in shipment. Um, and on top of that, it's fantastic for storaging your Crystal Age Technology screen paint. Mind you, our paint has a five-year shelf life, and our screens last for around between four and five years. So, uh, yeah, just want to put that out there really quick. Um, also, too, another announcement um, I want to bring up really quick before my time runs out here on the camera. Uh, we have uh, two new projection screens, motorized projection screens. 
uh, coming to our, uh, our, um, our quantum light, sorry, quantum, or quantum lights, funny, coming to our, um, just trying to adjust something back here with the, um, with the, with the, um, my uh my laptop but we have another we have an, we have two other screens now that we come into the uh, fusion silver uh projection screens uh with the company we're talking with right now there's going to be a 150 inch motorized projection screen and get this it's going to be a hundred going to make a 180 inch motorized projection screen now mind you, this, this is not a tension screen when i put that out there for you guys but it is going to be insane 150 inch motorized projection screen and 180 inch Woo, man, I might put that down in my basement. As a matter of fact, I am going to do that screen. I actually have, we're working on getting another house, so I'm definitely going to be putting that one down in my basement. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology. Projection screens using, boom, smart technology gain. Hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration. Uh, I will be doing more paint on demonstrations on our Crystal um, Crystal Edge Technology screen paints, some different ways on how you can build and design your own form of high performance projection screens, uh, easy designs and easy layouts on how to build some pretty cool screens. And really quick before I sign off, that right there is my tension, not my tension, but my suspension projection screen. Very easy to build. Um, so if you just want to hang your screen up from your ceiling, it's a very cool trick to do. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the demonstration. Thank you all for watching.